Greetings, beloved. It's time for the Cubic update because I'm on like 10, 11 weeks now mining on Cubic and this video for some reason gets views. So we're gonna take a look at what I took in for Cubic over the past week. Wednesday was yesterday and so the Cubic Epoch closed out. If you're unfamiliar, Cubic CPU, GPU, mineable coin, mainly CPUs. Uh, and you only get one payout per week and it's based on the number of solutions that you get and it's kind of very luck based and you don't know what the payout's going to be because your total solutions are based on everyone else's solutions um, and so then you get a payout at the end of the week so as you can see here uh, our total payout for this week not great 32 dollars and a lot of that has to do with cubic's price because cubic is not doing great my friends uh taking a look at cubic's price here can i slide this over without you seeing what other tabs i have open maybe cubic down 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 baby are you down 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 uh so we had this upshot here and that's when i decided to start holding cubic because i'm retarded uh, and it's gone basically down into the lowest point that it's been since it began it's right i mean we're looking at all-time lows here soon um so is that good, bad, indifferent? I don't know. I'm going to hang on to it, though, at this point, because why would I not? Uh, so the plan with Cubic, just to kind of cut through that real quick, is I've been saying, like, yeah, I'll pull off as soon as it becomes unprofitable. Uh, it's basically, well, based on the calculator websites, based on the calculator websites, it's still kind of even money based on the rough calculation, because uh, if I'm taking the data off of hashrate.no, um, the next most profitable thing, which is usually Zephyr for CPUs, although Zephyr's not as profitable, so like Monero's sneaking in there, Abelon or Abelion, um, uh, some other Varus coming in there uh, at the top for, for some things. But based on 24 hours, it's still usually Zephyr. Uh, so if we took that and just assume we held it all and sold it on the same day we sold our Cubic, you know what that would be not you know remain, remaining agnostic to difficulty adjustments throughout the week uh, because that's just a really nitty-gritty to track um, our total would have been uh, $33 and so we took in 32.58 as of right now uh, so a ba basically even money now sure I could go on zealous I'd be making more it's not on the calculator websites uh, but certainly would be making more certainly better opportunity out there for a lot of coins I stuck on cubic because they get the hooks in. If you stay on Cubic, you get a loyalty bonus every week, and that loyalty bonus keeps going up and up and up, and it was like a whole dollar last week. So, you know, it's something, uh, but I stayed on it. I'll probably pull my GPUs off at a minimum uh, and then maybe just leave one CPU rig on there. I'm not sure if the loyalty bonus uh, can see that I've pulled a portion of power off, and I'll continue to get a higher loyalty bonus, uh, but I do want to keep at least one on there for that. Uh, so taking a look here, uh, if we, again, if we would have mined on the next most profitable things based on the calculator websites, $33. Mining Cubic, we made $32. Uh, still profitable, uh, so there are profits there. It made sense to mine it in that sense. Uh, plus, it's all one coin that we can send to an exchange with a pretty low fee. Uh, just getting the, the real money off the exchanges, that's where the fees start to kill. But certainly made sense for uh, to stay on Cubic. It's just not as great. Their total uh, payout per solution this week um, down to 815. Now, that sounds pretty high, but considering that two epochs ago, um, the difficulty in finding solutions just went through the damn roof. Our total payout per solution was $13 and now it's down to eight and it, it was still as difficult. Now I will say for this epoch, what I'm experiencing is that it's been uh, all of less than 24 hours since the switch and I've already got three solutions. I, I finished out the epoch last time with four and I've already got three. So I don't know if they just turn that way down. If I got lucky just now, I don't know. Um, so you know, certainly we'll leave one, maybe two CPU rigs on there. And I'm not running one of my CPU rigs because it's poisoning my network for some reason. I uh, can't figure out why. A lot of people saying it's hardware issue. Appreciate all the comments on that as to what's going on there. It's static IP. I've rebuilt the rig. There's just, I, I've gone through every iteration and configuration that I can think of, but it still keeps dropping the whole network uh, and going down itself. So I think I'm just going to pull it, reset the BIOS, start from scratch put it you know here in the studio just to monitor it and baby it and maybe nurse it back to health or you know take it out back behind the shed with the shotgun and that'll do pig bang 7900 dead 
Uh, anyway, that's the skinny for Cubic. Love to know if you're still on Cubic or if everybody and their mothers moved on to Zealous because I heard Zealous is kind of going down a little bit as well. Uh, maybe some of the newness wearing off. And, you know, that's why I'm apprehensive about getting into these brand new coins that I'm not first to the races on. Because, uh, I, I, you know, if I jumped on Zealous right now, I'd be doing it on the tail end of things. But it just seems to be the, the story of my life with this YouTube and mining career is I'm always late to the party or I'm way too damn early. Uh, I'm just never at, there at the right time. But anyway, regardless, love to know what you're doing in the comments below. If you like content like this, be sure to give the video a like. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'm The Technicals. See you next time.